Fluminense. jam it's amazing I'm going back next year my favorite band Disciple they sound like rock and roll um, they're great so I like I like the way their music sounds I don't particularly like mm, well I love Christian music. It's great. It's not my favorite genre. I'm super particular about my uh, taste in Christian music simply because I don't like overly, I don't want to say overly preachy, I, I, that's not the right word. I don't particularly care for Christian music where they force feed you the Christian word down your throat and make you feel like you're attending Sunday school or you're listening to the song in L.A. Go is. 
God, 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 Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. You should love him and only him, blah, blah, blah. There are songs like there, uh, out there like that. And like hymnal type music, I don't like stuff like that per se. Uh, I like stuff like Disciple because Disciple is, um, they're great. They sound like rock and roll. Their lyrics are still about God, Jesus, and everything, and they still feel like a good message and sermon, but you don't feel like, when you listen to it, you don't feel like you just attended a sermon. You don't feel like you were listening to church. Which, I, the only reason I don't like that kind of music is because I want to be able to share my music with people, and I want to be able to share God with people, but I also understand some people are uncomfortable learning about God and hearing about God. So I want to be able to find music that allows me to share my love of God with people without making them feel uncomfortable. And I figure Disciples is a good way to do that because then you can share the love and the word um, like to a metalhead <laughs> that isn't inter necessarily 100% interested. They hear Disciple and go, okay, I like this. This kind of reminds me of that metal band that I like. Okay, and then eventually they listen to more and more and then they start asking questions. And then they, you can teach them the good book. So, uh, some things to know about Winter Jam. Um, it's, at least where we were, it was $15 at the door. Um, the, which is good. Uh, they're inexpensive. So they're a concert where you can buy tickets at the door. Uh, it's inexpensive and it's good. We had to wait a few hours to get in. Uh, we left at about 11 something. Got to... Mm, got to the next city over at about 12-ish, I want to say, maybe 1 o'clock, because it takes about an hour and a half to get where we were, um, and then uh, we had McDonald's, and then we went to the thing, we still had to wait for about two hours, cause, or two, three hours, because it started at 4 and it ended at about 10, well, actually a little after 10. Um, the other thing to note, each time the uh, musicians are different, the only group that is always there is New Song. Um, and they always play My One Little City nearby, so I'm going to be going every year. Uh, you can get other tickets. The other one I got, I'm not showing you the badge because it's got my name on the back and I don't want to, uh, well, can't show you that. Uh, but I got Platinum, which is part of Jam Nation. Uh, if you can afford to get Jam Nation, do, because you can get in a little bit earlier. Um, let's see. The other thing I will say, uh, next year I'm going to save up and get the good seat so I can go VIP backstage and meet the musicians. Hopefully, Disciples will be there so I can tell them I love, in, was introduced to them at uh, yesterday's Winter Jam and tell them how much they, um, or first of all, how much I love their stuff now. And how much they actually, um, I don't know, they, I don't know, I don't know how to describe it. They made me think, they made me feel good, they kind of, I don't know, I don't know how to describe it, Disciples is just good. Um, and also, New Song was great. Last time I saw New Song was when they came to another city actually near my area, and me and my friend Marinette, whom I went to Winter Jam with, and speaking of Marinette really quickly, just a side note, uh, the, uh, the clips, um, I did take the clips from the Winter Jam that I was at, there's one clip of me, obviously, um, and in a couple of the clips, Marinette does show up a few times. Um, I did my best not to get Marinette in the shot, because th this wasn't about her, this was about me wanting to show off how great Winter Jam was, but, um, yeah, so Baronet does show up a couple of times, um, but yeah, so y'all get to see what Marinette looks like, yay, okay, but yeah, so, um, I enjoyed it, uh, I'm going back next year, I'm gonna get the ba good VIP backstage seats, um, I'm not gonna take Marinette because I, well, okay, I will if there has to be a group, because I can't remember if you can get a single one like that. I don't think you can, but if it does have to be a group, then I will get Marinette. Uh, 
I'll have to figure something out because I want to go to the backstage. And I don't think you can go backstage with just one singular person, which makes sense. Because if they are selling backstage tickets, they wouldn't want a singular person by themselves at backstage because then they wouldn't, because then it would make it kind of awkward, I guess. I don't know. Uh, maybe it's just because it's cheaper to offer backstage if it's only in groups. I don't know. But yeah, so we, I did that. Uh, it was one of the best things ever. I didn't get to go backstage, but you know, because we didn't get the, we didn't get the backstage seats this time because it was too expensive. Um, but yeah, but the one that I got was platinum. It came with a T-shirt, uh, which is awesome. Uh, and when I went, I did buy a couple of pieces of merch. Um, let me see. And I did buy a CD from, um, <coughs> I did actually buy a uh, CD from Disciple as well, but I'm not going to show that because I have to get up to show that now for like getting up further than what I just did. Um, so we have this, I don't know if it's going to show up really well on camera. I'm trying to hold my camera a specific way because I don't want to show off. Um, yeah. yeah. I'm just trying to, I don't really have a whole bunch of time, so, I mean, I have time, but I don't want to, um, I don't want to, uh, show off too much. Okay. So, let me see if I can do right. Okay. So, just like when I went to the, uh, Francesca Battistelli concert and got one of her bracelets, uh, I did get a Disciple one like that. The Francesca one is actually not as good quality as the Disciple one. Although, to be fair, in, in fairness of Francesca and uh, New Song at that point, uh, I don't think it's Francesca's fault that the stuff was bad quality. I don't see, think she purposely chose bad quality stuff. I think what happened with the Francesca thing was that that was a uh, Christmas tour concert that they set, that they a New Song set up. And they'd asked Francesca to be part of it last minute, I think. Maybe. I don't know. I don't want to say last minute. That's probably not what happened. Because actually, one of the members of New Song, I forget which one, one of the members of New Song is actually Francesca's father in law, I want to say. I think, I think so. Uh, Marinette, or someone who knows New Song and Francesca just is a lot better than me. Um, and the comments do tell me if I'm remembering that correctly. I might be, I might not be, not sure. But, uh, so, I don't know if that was all, like, surplus stuff, because there wasn't anything that was strictly Christmas tour related, other than, like, the Christmas albums they had on sale. Um, so yeah, there wasn't anything specifically that said Christmas tour. So I feel like some of that stuff was, like, leftovers from, like, some previous tour, and they were just trying to get rid of it before like a restock or some junk. I don't know. That's what it just felt like. So yeah, we had this Disciple bracelet. It says Disciple on it. And it has a little red feather. Um, I'm not... I'm new to enjoying Disciple, so I don't know what the feather means exactly. So anyone who actually enjoys Disciple uh, more than me and knows a lot more about Disciple than I do, uh, feel free to tell me because I have no idea. I just know it was a cool bracelet. I wanted to get it because I wanted to be able to have something to show off my love of Disciple um, easily, readily, no matter what I'm wearing. Uh, and also just kind of, it also has the black and red aesthetic so it does fit the whole goth aesthetic if I decide to dress goth once in a while. But they do like goth stuff. I just don't dress goth constantly because it's very hard to dress that way comfortably. Um, it is also extremely hard to find clothes that way that are, uh, fit me very well and also uh, it's just it's just hard to find stuff that's what exactly I want. Like what I love is those I guess gothic Lolita? I don't know what you call it. But like the stuff like you see Aurelio Voltaire or um, some of those people the people that you think are like weird people like the stereotypical goth with all the frilly stuff the, that kind of thing, yeah, but, um, yeah, so, but we're getting a little off topic here, but, yeah, and I also got, let me see if I can show it off correctly here, so we've got this, let me see, I don't know if it's going to show up, 
trying to get it to shoe right without me having to move the camera because I I'm dressed, but I'm I'm I'm, I'm just uh, today I'm not going anywhere at all, so I'm not like. I don't look great. <laughs> and the only reason I didn't film this last night was because when I got home, it was about 12, I want to say, like 11 something, close to 12 when I got home. So I didn't want to film then because it was so late and I didn't want to potentially wake anyone up and I didn't want to have to be quiet because that, that, that wouldn't, y'all would not have been able to hear me too well because I've, so, okay, so we have the fanny pack, which... It's not, I don't know if you can see this on camera. Let me see if I can get it to show up on camera. Let me see. Hold on. Okay, let me just do this. I don't know if you can see this on camera, but the quality, the quality of this, it's, here, I don't know if you can hear that. It's thin. Okay, I don't know if it's actually showing up on camera. Hold on. Yeah, it's thin, very um, thin and look, let me. Yeah, you can see through it a little bit. Um, but yeah, so. It's got a front, but I did like it. It's like, I can tell the quality is not 100% A+. Plus, but at the same time, uh, it's not a terrible, I've had worse. I've actually bought a lot worse before. Um, this isn't really thick, but I can also see why, because it's not for um, constant use. This isn't like something I, that you would use every day, everywhere. This would be like once in a while thing. Because you use it all the time and you'll get a hole in it. Uh, so when uh, my cousin Baby Dinosaur comes to visit. And if y'all do not know. Because she might have been mentioned in the video that got uploaded. It might not have because I don't remember. Because I make videos and then sometimes I just don't feel the video after I've filmed it. And check it to make sure it's you know postable and just feel right. Uh, so I will remind you guys and or explain to you for the first time. So, Baby Dinosaur uh, lives in a few cities, uh, lives a few cities over from me. She lives about maybe an hour and a half, two hours away from me. Um, and we uh, used to hang out a lot more. Uh, Baby Dinosaur is actually um, the great, great niece, I think. Great niece, something like that, of uh, Papa Fossil Skunk. So, we're kind of cousins not really i don't know what the right word is for it so we just say cousins because it's easier um rather than yeah it's, it's easier but we're also really good friends so every other month we take turns uh, visiting each other so last month uh except for the first times we did it because uh the first times we were actually trying to just see each other and get a schedule going so she came to see me in december uh, there was a video posted, uh, made for that, but then when I actually looked at it, it didn't feel right, uh, and I didn't, know, I didn't like all of it, and I also didn't like some of the stuff that we, that got filmed, so I scrapped it. That's why y'all won't ever see that. Um, and then I went to go see her in her city uh, a few months, a uh, month after that, actually, in uh, January, because we planned that so close together just because we wanted to have time to... Uh, so we could plan something so she could, you know, so we know what we're doing. Um, so yeah. And then uh, we've made the decision that every other month we're going to visit each other. So uh, she's coming to visit on the 11th of March. We're going to go do things. We're going to go to my local record store. We're going to go to McKay's. We're going to go to a billiards place or Dave and Buster's. I'm going to try to go to the billiards place instead because they have in my budgeting I didn't budget for oh, and we're going to a metaphysical store as well in my budgeting I didn't budget for Dave and Buster's I budgeted for the pool hall 
I can't save extra for the pool hall. Be I mean, for the Dave and Buster's because something else is. Uh, uh, I have to go get my hair done that Friday before, and so it's gonna it's gonna be a mess. Yeah, have to figure that one out. Uh, but yeah, but we're gonna try. I'll, I'll look into both because Papa Puzzles Crunk was like, "Hey, could you try Dave and Buster's instead? They've got everything you just mentioned, and it's all in one. It's at the mall, and it's in a central location, and it's like, which which makes perfect sense." Um, and yes, I am well aware this is off topic, but <laughs> this has nothing to do with Winter Jam. And I apologize, but I'm bringing this up because this has to do with the baggie. Uh, I'm gonna use it that day because it's got this little. I can't show it off on camera too well. And I don't want to turn this off because then I'll have to start over and that'd be a hassle. But it's got this little, I don't know if it's going to show up on camera too, but it's got this little zippy pouch in the back. This really deep. And yes, y'all can't see me real quick. Sorry, y'all. This is how deep. Thoughts on Winter Jam? It's amazing. I'm going back next year. My favorite band, Disciple. They sound like rock and roll. Um, they're great. So I like I like the way their music sounds. I don't particularly like. Mm, well, I love Christian music. It's great. It's not my favorite genre. I'm super particular about my uh, taste in Christian music. Simply because I don't like overly... I don't want to say overly preachy. I, I, that's not the right word. I don't particularly care for Christian music where they force feed you the Christian word down your throat and make you feel like you're attending Sunday school or you're listening to the song in El Vago is... God, 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 Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. You should love him and only him, blah, blah, blah. There are songs like there, uh, out there like that. And like hymnal type music, I don't like stuff like that per se. Uh, I like stuff like Disciple because Disciple is, um, they're great. They sound like rock and roll. Their lyrics are still about God, Jesus, and everything, and they still feel like a good message and sermon, but you don't feel like, when you listen to it, you don't feel like you just attended a sermon. You don't feel like you were listening to church. Which, I, the only reason I don't like that kind of music is because I want to be able to share my music with people, and I want to be able to share God with people, but I also understand some people are uncomfortable learning about God and hearing about God. So I want to be able to find music that allows me to I share my love of God with people without making them feel uncomfortable. And I figure Disciple's a good way to do that because then you can share the love and the word um, like to a metalhead <laughs> that isn't inter necessarily 100% interested. They hear Disciple and go, okay, I like this. This kind of reminds me of that metal band that I like. Okay. And then eventually they listen to more and more and then they start asking questions. And then they, you can teach them the good book. So, uh, some things to know about Winter Jam. Um, it's, at least where we were, it was $15 at the door. Um, the, which is good. Uh, they're inexpensive. So they're a concert where you can buy tickets at the door. Uh, it's inexpensive and it's good. We had to wait a few hours to get in. Uh, we left at about 11 something. Got to... Mm. got to the next city over at about 12-ish, I want to say, maybe 1 o'clock, because it takes about an hour and a half to get where we were, um, and then uh, we had McDonald's, and then we went to the thing, and we still had to wait for about two hours, cause, or two, three hours, because it started at 4 and it ended at about 10, well, actually a little after 10. Um, the other thing to note, each time the uh, musicians are different, the only group that is always there is New Song, um, and they always play My One Little City nearby, so I'm going to be going every year. Uh, you can get other tickets. The other one I got, I'm not showing you the badge because it's got my name on the back and I don't want to, uh, well, can't show you that, uh, but I got Platinum, 
which is part of Jam Nation. Uh, if you can afford to get Jam Nation, do, because you can get in a little bit earlier. Um, let's see. The other thing I will say, uh, next year I'm going to save up and get the good seat so I can go VIP backstage and meet the musicians. Hopefully Disciples will be there so I can tell them I love, was introduced to them at uh, yesterday's Winter Jam and tell them how much they... Um, or first of all, how much I love their stuff now, and how much they actually, um, I don't know, they, I don't know, I don't know how to describe it. They made me think, they made me feel good, they kind of, I don't know, I don't know how to describe it, Disciples is just good. Um, and also, New Song was great, last time I saw New Song was when they came to another city actually near my area and me and my friend Marinette whom I went to Winter Jam with and speaking of Marinette really quickly just a side note uh, the, uh, the clips um, I did take the clips from the Winter Jam that I was at there's one clip of me obviously um, and in a couple of the clips Marinette does show up a few times um, I did my best not to get Marinette in the shot because this wasn't about her, this was about me wanting to show off how great Winter Jam was, but um, yeah, so Baronet does show up a couple of times, um, but yeah, so y'all get to see what Marinette looks like, yay, okay, but yeah, so um, I enjoyed it, uh, I'm going back next year, I'm going to get the ba good VIP backstage seats, um, I'm not going to take Marinette because I, well, okay, I will if there has to be a group, because I can't remember if you can get a single one like that, I don't think you can, but if it does have to be a group, then I will get Marinette, uh, I'll have to figure something out, because I want to go to the backstage, and I don't think you can go backstage with just one singular person. Which makes sense, because if they are selling backstage tickets, they wouldn't want a singular person by themselves at backstage, because then they wouldn't, because then it would make it kind of awkward, I guess? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it's just because it's cheaper to offer backstage if it's only in groups. I don't know. But yeah, so we, I did that. Uh, it was one of the best things ever. I didn't get to go backstage, but, you know, because we didn't get, the, we didn't get the backstage seats this time because it was too expensive. Um... But yeah, but the one that I got was platinum. It came with a t-shirt, uh, which is awesome. Uh, and when I went, I did buy a couple of pieces of merch. Um, let me see. And I did buy a CD from... Um, oh, I did actually buy a uh, CD from Disciple as well. But I'm not going to show that because I have to get up to show that now for like getting up further than what I just did. Um, so we have this. I don't know if it's going to show up really well on camera. I'm trying to hold my camera a specific way because I don't want to show off. Um, I, yeah. I'm just trying to. I don't really have a whole bunch of time. So I mean, I have time, but I don't want to. Um, I don't want to uh, show off too much. Okay. So let me see if I can do right. Okay. So just like when I went to the uh, Francesca Battistelli concert and got one of her bracelets, uh, I did get a Disciple one like that. The Francesca one is actually not as good quality as the Disciple one. Although to be fair, in, in fairness of Francesca and uh, New Song at that point, uh, I don't think it's Francesca's fault that the stuff was bad quality. I don't see, think she purposely chose bad quality stuff. I think what happened with the Francesca thing was that that was a uh, Christmas tour concert that they set, that they, a new song set up, and they'd asked Francesca to be part of it last minute, I think. Maybe. I don't know. I don't want to say last minute. That's probably not what happened. Because actually, one of the members of New Song, I forget which one, one of the members of New Song is actually Francesca's father in law, I want to say. I think I think so. Uh, Marinette or someone who knows New Song and Francesca 
just as a lot better than me. Um, in the comments, do tell me if I'm remembering that correctly. I might be, I might not be, not sure. But, uh, so, I don't know if that was all, like, surplus stuff, because there wasn't anything that was strictly Christmas tour related, other than, like, the Christmas albums they had on sale. Um, so yeah, there wasn't anything specifically that said Christmas tour. So I feel like some of that stuff was, like, leftovers from, like, some previous tour, and they were just trying to get rid of it before, like, a restock or some junk. I don't know. That's what it just felt like. So yeah, we had this Disciple bracelet. Says disciple on it, and it has a little red feather. Um, I'm not. I'm new to enjoying disciple, so I don't know what the feather means exactly. So anyone who actually enjoys disciple uh, more than me and knows a lot more about disciple than I do, uh, feel free to tell me because I have no idea. I just know it was a cool bracelet. I wanted to get it because I wanted to be able to have something to show off my love of disciple. Um, Easily, readily, no matter what I'm wearing. Uh, and also just kind of... It also has the black and red aesthetic, so it does fit the whole goth aesthetic if I decide to dress goth once in a while. But they do like goth stuff. I just don't dress goth constantly because it's very hard to dress that way comfortably. Um, it is also extremely hard to find clothes that way that are, uh, fit me very well. And also, uh, it's just... It's just hard to find stuff that's what exactly I want. Like, what I love is those, I guess, gothic Lolita? I don't know what you call it. But, like, the stuff, like, you see Aurelio Voltaire or um, some of those people, the people that you think are, like, weird people. Like, the stereotypical goth with all the frilly stuff. the That kind of thing. Yeah. But, um, yeah, so we're getting a little off topic here. But, yeah. And I also got, let me see if I can show it off correctly here. So we've got this. Let me see. I don't know if it's going to show up. I'm trying to get it to shoe right without me having to move the camera. Because I... I'm dressed, but I'm... I'm, I'm, I'm just... Uh, today, I'm not going anywhere at all. So I'm not, like... I don't look great. <laughs> and the only reason I didn't film this last night was because when I got home, it was about 12, I want to say. Like 11 something, close to 12 when I got home. So I didn't want to film then because it was so late and I didn't want to potentially wake anyone up. And I didn't want to have to be quiet because that, that wouldn't, you all would not have been able to hear me too well. Because I've. So, okay, so we have the fanny pack, which. It's not, I don't know if you can see this on camera. Let me see if I can get it to show up on camera. Let me see. Hold on. Okay, let me just do this. I don't know if you can see this on camera, but the quality, the quality of this, it's, here, I don't know if you can hear that. It's thin. Okay, I don't know if it's actually showing up on camera. Hold on. Yeah, it's thin, very um, thin, and look, let me. Yeah, you can see through it a little bit. Um, but yeah, so. It's got a front, but I did like it. It's like, I can tell the quality is not 100% A+. Plus, but at the same time, uh, it's not a terrible, I've had worse. I've actually bought a lot worse before. Um, this isn't really thick, but I can also see why, because it's not for um, constant use. This isn't like something I, that you would use every day, everywhere. This would be like once in a while thing. Because you use it all the time and you'll get a hole in it. Uh, so when uh, my cousin Baby Dinosaur comes to visit. And if y'all do not know. Because she might have been mentioned in the video that got uploaded. It might not have because I don't remember. Because I make videos and then sometimes I just don't feel the video after I filmed it. And check it to make sure it's 
you know, postable and just feel right. Uh, so I will remind you guys and or explain to you for the first time. So baby dinosaur uh, lives in a few cities, uh, lives a few cities over from me. She lives about maybe an hour and a half, two hours away from me. Um, and we uh, used to hang out a lot more. Uh, baby dinosaur is actually um, the great, great niece, I think. Great niece, something like that, of uh, Papa Puzzle Skunk. So we're kind of cousins, not really. I don't know what the right word is for it. So we just say cousins because it's easier. Um, rather than, yeah, it's easier, but we're also really good friends. So every other month, we take turns uh, visiting each other. So last month, uh, except for the first times we did it, because uh, the first times we were actually trying to just see each other and get a schedule going. So she came to see me in December. Uh, there was a video posted, uh, made for that, but then when I actually looked at it, it didn't feel right. Uh, and I didn't and like all of it, and I also didn't like some of the stuff that we that got filmed, so I scrapped it. That's why y'all won't ever see that. Um, and then I went to go see her in her city uh, a few months, a uh, month after that, actually, in uh, January. Because we planned that so close together just because we wanted to have time to, uh, so we could plan something, so she could, you know, so we know what we're doing. Um, so, yeah. And then uh, we've made the decision that every other month we're going to visit each other. So uh, she's coming to visit on the 11th of March. We're going to go do things. We're going to go to my local record store. We're going to go to McKay's. We're going to go to a billiards place or Dave and Buster's. I'm going to try to go to the billiards place instead because in my budgeting, I didn't budget for, oh, and we're going to a metaphysical store as well. In my budgeting, I didn't budget for Dave and Buster's. I budgeted it for the pool hall, and I can't save extra for the pool hall. Be, I mean, for the Dave and Buster's because something else is. Uh, uh, I have to go get my hair done that Friday before, and so it's gonna it's gonna be a mess. Yeah, have to figure that one out. Uh, but yeah, but we're gonna try. I'll, I'll look into both because Papa Puzzles Kunk was like, "Hey, could you try Dave and Buster's instead? They've got everything you just mentioned, and it's all in one. It's at the mall, and it's in a central location, and it's like, which which makes perfect sense. Um, and yes, I am well aware this is off topic, but <laughs> this has nothing to do with Winter Jam. And I apologize, but I'm bringing this up because this has to do with the baggie. Uh, I'm gonna use it that day because it's got this little. I can't show it off on camera too well. And I don't want to turn this off because then I'll have to start over and that'll be a hassle. But it's got this little, I don't know if it's going to show up on camera too good. It's got this little zippy pouch in the back. This really deep. And yes, you all can't see me real quick. Sorry, y'all. This is just really sweet. This is how it is. I also wanted to add something since it's been a little bit. I wanted to mention one quick thing about my disciple shirt. And I don't know whether I stuck it. Ah, no, I didn't stick it in the, in the laundry hamper yet. So I actually did get a chance to wear it on Monday. Uh, I'm just pointing this out because this is like the umpteenth, th and I'm going to show this off. This is nothing against Disciple, or Disciple, and the people that make the shirts. I think it's more down to, and this is like the umpteenth time I've had, uh, actually not umpteenth, that's actually a lie. Uh, this shirt is comfortable, I love it, but it's also slightly scummy quality. Well, I don't want to say scummy, that's not the right word. Slightly innocuous quality. Innocuous? I don't know if I'm using that word correctly. Who cares? Innocuous. Slightly innocuous quality here. Um, because, as you see, I don't know if you can see this very well. Let's see if I can get it show up on camera. Yeah, this is thread that should not be coming off after a fresh buy. Like, maybe a month or two, but no. I only wore it once. That's already started happening. The other thing I wanted to show off, and I fixed it because I refused to throw out a good shirt because it's like good, my new favorite shirt, and I love it, and I didn't want to throw it away. 
don't know if I can show it off. Uh, let's see, where is it? Where is it? Uh, it's on this side. So, is it this side? Yes, it's this side. Um, so, I'm going to show you guys real quickly. <laughs> this. Dear, oh, let's see. If it'll show up on camera. I don't know if it'll show up on camera too good. Dear, near if it'll. Okay, let me see. I don't know if this is going to show on camera very well. I can't sew very well. I had to patch my Disciple shirt. I say this just, just as a heads up and a tiny bit of a warning. If you do get merchandise, I'm not going to say this about every Christian band's merchandise. Because I actually bought, let's see, a few months ago when I went to the Francesca Ballastelli concert, I actually did end up buying some of her merch and Mama Pulitzer because I thought it was pretty bad quality. Uh, I, yes and no. So, it's yes, some of it was. But, and she thought I was being gypped when I bought the, the key necklace. And she didn't understand that it meant key to the kingdom of God. Or I think she did, but she thought it was kind of jippy. Yeah. See, I get that merch can't be good quality all the time. Because I understand. But to have that shirt get that hole that quickly. Thank God it was in an armpit hole area. Now, if it had been somewhere else, uh, I would have had to probably get rid of the shirt. And I didn't want to... Uh, and a disciple, can we have a heart to heart a second? I love your music. I think it's amazing. You guys are amazing. Please keep what you're doing going. Just maybe think about make it, looking into a different shirt manufacturer next time. I bought a two X, so maybe it was my fault for being needing a two X and actually not getting and buying a two X as opposed to buying a trying to get a 3x or some junk maybe it was because it was too big too small for me but i doubt that I, I think it was just quality and i'm only adding this little quip at the end here as a like an addition so that you the people know to be careful when you buy um some shirts at the very least and winter jam merch uh, not anti don't i'm not saying don't buy winter jam merch quite the opposite i'm just saying be careful Oh, I did find out something I'm going to buy next year when I go. Either from Disciple or Winter Jam. I haven't quite decided. It'll probably be Disciple. Or Winter, well, let me rephrase that. Probably Winter Jam because Disciple might not be there next year. Um, I'm going to buy some drumsticks. Do I play drums? No. Do I need drumsticks? No. Do I regret not buying the drumsticks at this one? Yes. But no, in all seriousness, this was just a quick little add-on PSA to let you know, be careful when you buy the shirts, um, don't get them caught on anything, uh, don't let your cat near them, just be careful, because they could get holes, and you may not have the luxury of a needle and thread. You may not have the luxury to actually, now, see, I wasn't about to throw out a shirt, that's the other thing. I'm, firm, I'm a firm believer in patch a hole at least two times before you throw out the shirt. Is it cheaper to buy a new shirt sometimes? Yes. But sometimes you don't want to buy the new shirt. Sometimes you just love Old Faithful. So, you know, try to patch it if you can. If you can't, that's the one thing. But since I can sew, my sewing isn't great, but I don't care for patchwork. It, it's great. Um, I try to patch first, then dispose of it. Like, because I just don't like even shirts. But yeah, so just, just be advised. Your shirt might not be 100% best quality shirt. It might be, like, good shirt for once in a while but that's definitely not a shirt that i'm going to be wearing constantly just because of that one little incident Alrighty, well i will see you guys in the next eh, yeah i'll see you guys in the next video i know i said that earlier but here you go again so bye bye